Hey, Shalom Amakim. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great motion for teaching truth and for ruling well. And peace salutation to all Yahweh out there pushing and defending this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. As well as see believers in Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, the men as well as the women, the hopeful elect. This is the brother Kahan Allah from the GMS Hawaii. And I just want to do a, a, a quick lesson, Lord willing, and be edifying, you know, um, going into the, the chastisement, you know, the, like we read here, it says uh, the Father's discipline or a Father's, which ultimately uh, the Heavenly Father is the Father of all souls, but chiefly of us uh, in this truth, man, you know, because as of now, uh, the the two thirds of our people, they have not been readopted because of their unbelief, you know. But we, through the mercies, the great mercies of Yahweh Shai, have been brought back unto Him through Yahweh Shai, man. And uh, as as we go on this journey, you know, and brothers and sisters, you know, a lot of you already know, but. You know, it's a good reminder to have that in this journey, it's not going to be a a, a a easy ride, you know, a walk in the park. It's not going to be like you're just going to come into this truth and everything's just going to be smooth sailing once you, you, will, you find this truth, man. It's actually the opposite, you know, because as... As we grow in the faith, as we mature in this uh, truth, you know, more and more things are going to uh, vex us. We're going to start having, uh, you know, tribulation, trials of our faith, which when we were in the world, weren't a, a, a thing, you know. I was having a conversation with somebody and... You know, we were talking about how when you learn new things, whether it be, you know, a, a trade, whether it be, uh, you know, economics, a new skill, you you look at the at the world in a new, like a new dimension opens up towards you. You know, I myself, I work in the construction industry. And before I, I knew certain codes, I knew how things were built. I just saw a house for, for what it was. Oh, look at this house. Oh, it's nice and pretty, nice. But now that I know the ins and outs of it, I kind of could walk into a place and deconstruct the house and see how it was like it was built. And it's just like automatically it happens. Like I just walk into a place and my mind just starts, you know, thinking of how this place was made, what they use, how they put the electrical, the plumbing, whatever it is you know so it's like a new dimension you know you look at the world in a new plane so in this truth when the more and more we we get closer to Yahweh the more and more knowledge he gives us more knowledge and understanding the more this world becomes vexing and the more trials and tribulations that, that come our way you know but all that is, again, part of, 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 of the Lord's plan for us, which ultimately is part of his uh, chastisement, you know? You, you can say his discipline to, to make us uh, better sons and daughters, better servants, as well as uh, better leaders towards our congregation, towards our families. All this is part of, 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 of the discipline of the Lord, the, the, the chastisement, man. Because when we were in the world, there was no correction. There was no uh, guidance. But now that we've came back to Yahweh Shema Washa, there are, are, are strict guidelines and standards that we got to follow as sons and daughters of the power, man. You know? So uh, in my spirit, I was meditating on, on those things, man. You know, uh, sometimes, you know, we have troubles. 
whether it be at work, whether it be in our personal life, you know, that you you may say like, damn, fuck. You know, it, it's it's hard to go through this, and you and you look at the heathens and the way how how they resolve their problems. They do it through through wickedness, through wicked means. But we look at things, you know, spiritually. So we gotta do, we gotta solve our problems the right way, you know. And sometimes the right way is is a a, a hard, a hard uh, or a tougher way to, to to solve these problems you know i'm not speaking of any problems in general but you know i'm just saying brothers and sisters go through certain things that people in the world can resolve easily you know by by being wicked you know but we we gotta solve them we gotta do you know jump over over you know spiritual hurdles and uh even physical ones because we we have a, a a standard to go by, you know, which is set by Yahweh Washa. We can't be doing, you know, a corrupt business. We can't be, you know, uh, you know, being like Esau and the heathens, you know. So I wanted to get into this in Hebrews 12, starting at four. It says, "Oh." Uh, have you not yet resisted unto blood striving against sin? Well, in the NLT it says, After all, you have not yet given your lives in your struggle against sin. And that's true. Because, you know, all the chastisement we're going is not uh, worthy of us giving our life yet. You know, serving the Lord is, but the, the, the common troubles we go through in life or not you know so basically you got to keep strong be be patient learn how to you know uh adapt and and solve the things spiritually man always pray to the lord to 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 give you a way out it says and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto sons of as just as unto children my son despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint with our rebuke of him. That's right, because we are being corrected. You know, we're being purged of the, the impurities that were in us when we were in the world. So the Lord shows us this new realm, like I was talking about, the realm of righteousness. And now we got to conduct ourselves within that realm, even though the world may not see it. And they'll tell you, like, no, do it this way. No, do it this way. People will give you advice on how to solve problems and situations. But you're in another realm. And that's the realm of Yahweh Shimei Awashai. So don't despise it. Even though it's hard, even though it's, it's challenging, you can't despise it. And don't faint when you're being rebuked of the Lord. And the way we're be, we we get rebuked is what? By these trials and tribulations, man. This this situations of, of hardship you know that's how the Lord corrects us because we might be doing something and the Lord's like nope you know what you're gonna have to do it this way or you may not have that that may not be where you're gonna go you know you may have plans but the Lord is gonna knock those plans out because they might not you know be good for your spirit for 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 your purpose. Uh, verse 6, it says, For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourges every son whom he receiveth. That's right. So he, he, those that he loves, he watches over, he punishes them, he corrects them. Because he doesn't want us to do certain things, you know, be part of the world, do corrupt business, you know. If ye endure chastising, the Most High dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chastises not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then ye are bastards and not sons. That's right. So if we endure the, chast the chastisement of the Lord, we are his sons, you know? Because ultimately, 
we understand, okay, we're, we're going through these things because of our iniquity. You know, there's a scripture that says, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. So we understand that. And now we we move within the realm of, of righteousness to please the Lord, to do the right thing in his eyes. You know, as the two thirds, they do the, 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 the opposite. They're like, oh, nah, what? I got to do this to to be an Israelite, to serve the Lord? Nah, I'm good. I'll be a, a Muslim. I'll be a, a, a Satanist, a, a, a atheist, whatever. But I ain't about to do all this, go through the, through the, through the fire just to be in, in, in the good graces of the Lord. Nah, I'm good. You know, this is what majority of our people do. You know, let's read it in the, in the NLT. It says, as you endure this divine discipline, remember that the Most High is treating you as his own children. Who ever heard of a child who is never disciplined by its father? That's right, because fathers and mothers, but in this case, the Lord, the Heavenly Father, you know, chastises his children. Why? Because he cares about us. And I'm sure brothers that have children, you don't just let them, you know, go around doing whatever the hell they want. If they behave disobediently and, and recklessly, you punish them, right? So that they could what? They could learn that that's not the way to do things. Likewise us. You know, we have come into this faith and the Lord wants us to be a certain way so that we may show ourselves worthy to be called his sons and his daughters man be worthy of, of of salvation because as we see this world this world is is completely against the lord so he's gonna destroy it but he has gonna he's gonna have mercy upon the two the one third of the nation of israel and he's gonna deliver them but what's gonna grant that salvation First and foremost, that believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and that sacrifice that the Lord did for us, and secondly, through through our actions, because through through belief you act a certain way, through belief you you uh, through belief you uh, accomplish, uh, or through belief not accomplish, but through belief you you do action. You know, oh, I believe that if I go to the gym, I will lose weight. So then that belief is going to inspire you to go to the gym and actually hit the weights, do some cardio. And then that's going to give you what? The results that, that you're aiming for, which is to lose weight or to get in shape. So the same thing with the Lord. The Lord promised us what? Salvation from the destruction that is to come. He promised us a kingdom. In righteousness, everlasting life. So if we believe in that, okay, so what is the the action that is needed to, to get those results? And that is to what? To praise Yahweh Bashim Shai with our actions to go out, you know, and and, and 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 be holy, separated from this world. Keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your abilities. And those that have, you know, the spirit of, of prophecy to go out and preach, man. Or well, verse 8 in the NOT, it says, If the Most High doesn't discipline you as he does all of his children, it means that you are illegitimate and not really his children at all. That's right. And this is the case with the two-thirds of our people, you know. Because they're not obeying Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, and they're, you know, following after the, the ways of the heathens, their own wicked ways. So the Lord is not considering them as as His children. You know, there the you know there there's a scripture. Roughly paraphrasing, I know I, I'm I'm pretty far off, but basically, that that it says that uh you know the unbelievers of our people are like unto the heathens man 
and throughout the scriptures we see it in um, Isaiah uh, I believe it's, it's 40 and 17 we see it in uh, 2nd Esdras uh, chapter 5 I believe that is that says that what that the heathens are less than nothing that they're like unto spittle that the abundance of them is like a drop that falleth from a vessel so imagine if 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 that's how the Lord sees the heathens, the two thirds are being looked at the same way, man, because of their unbelief, because of their, you know, a love for the world. And they're they're not being uh, chastised the way we are. Like I mentioned before, you, you see the heathens and the two thirds of our people, they get into economic troubles and they get into, you know, you know, they also have, you know, troubles throughout their life, but they resolve it wickedly. You know, Jake will go and scheme off of somebody, go do some, you know, stealing or do whatever it is, man. Jake always got some scheme going on to, you know, to not do things right. And the same thing with Esau and the heathens, man. Always finding loopholes, always trying to do things, uh, how this system well is is set up in, in corruption. And then it seems like damn, like they just fucking do it with such ease. And sometimes you even think of, of, of doing it yourself, but then the spirit kicks in and says, like, nah, fuck that shit, man. You know, do do what Yahweh Bashim Yahushah would do. And even you know, Yahweh Shai said, give unto Caesar that which is Caesar's, man. So you can't be out here, you know, uh, being a, a, a <laughs> being a crook, you know, being like Esau and the heathens, you know, just uh, uh, fucking everybody over. Because all that comes with it, with, with with consequences, man. And ultimately, it's, it's, it's going to lead you to what? To, to your own demise. So I just wanted to go into this real quick, you know, something I was, you know, uh, meditating about. And we're going through, you know, uh, through through tribulations, man. But it's ultimately uh, the discipline of the Lord, the Lord building us up. The scriptures say in uh, in the apocrypha, uh, for gold is tried in the fire, and a acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. You know, we're being tried in, in, in that adversity, man. That heat is, is, is turning up. And ultimately, it's going to turn up even more in these times to come, man. Because this is where our faith is really going to be tried. You know, Jacob's trouble, you know, uh, uh, the whole conflict that's going to come with, uh, with the third woe. It's going to be times like never before. So there's going to have to be you know, a faith shown like never before. And we got to understand that it's all part of what? Of the chastening of the Lord. We we have to show that we are worthy to, to, to be saved of the Lord, man. And we do it through what? Through showing faith. And we show it how? By, by our actions, man. We can't, you know, fold in the, in the time of trouble. We can't faint when we are rebuked, when we are being ch chastised, man. But instead, we got to, you know, push on forward in the name of Yahweh Hashem Shah. So, hey, with that, Akim, I hope the quick lesson was edifying. Again, all praise is honor and glory going to Yahweh Hashem Shah, Hashem Kadash. Till next time, Lord willing, hey, shalom.